Hello and welcome back. In this module, I'm going to show you creating fonts. So when we are working with surface automation, we had to identify the fonts. There were two ways in which we identified the fonts. First was automatic, other was manual. We covered these when we did the surface automation demos. Now I want to show you that you can even go ahead and create your own fonts as well. So if I go to the uh, surface automation demo that we had created earlier. Let me launch this. And here we'll create a new account, go to notes. So we'll teach Blue Prism some fonts. So I'll type some font, uh, characters over here and then bring up the application modeler add a child this is for the add note add note screen click identify and go to region editor and take a screenshot now while working with fonts i had to turn off font smoothing so this exercise is being done with font smoothing turned off so here we have these fonts so let's draw a region around this and we'll create a font for this here under font we'll say create empty font we'll give some name so this is my demo font click ok select that and then here in this region editor we can click on show characters now here it is showing me uh, the images of these characters. It doesn't know what these characters are. So we can help it by typing what these characters are. So this is V, W, X, Y, Z, small Z, small Y, small X, small W, small V, small U and capital U. Once we have typed in the characters, we can click on merge into font. And these fonts are now saved. We can continue this by typing more characters and we can create a complete character set like that. Let's click OK on it and OK over here. So that way we can teach Blue Prism to identify the fonts. Now once these fonts have been identified, we can use that to read the images. We can also modify these fonts. If we go to the system manager here under fonts, we have the demo font that we created. We can export these fonts as a font file or even during the release manager when we created the release there also we can package this font as part of that release so uh, our individual font files can also be exported so we can even edit them from here so if i click the edit button we can move these fonts up and down and uh, delete fonts over here as well so that's how we can create more fonts if the available fonts within Blue Prism are not able to read the text using the OCR. When you are reading fonts, you may come across occasions when Blue Prism will not be able to read the fonts correctly. For example, here in the first note, humans can very well read it. It is Caesar, I shall. But if you notice I and L, they both appear to be the same to Blue Prism, but humans can read them differently they can easily make out I from an L. So in such cases, Blue Prism may not return us the correct result. So what we can do is that we can validate and clean the text using some regular expression rules, which can be implemented in Blue Prism code stage. So here we have some examples of code being written that can take those characters and return the appropriate character accordingly. Still, there's no hard and fast logic that can be applied and you would have to thoroughly test any logic that you are implementing. When using Blue Prism, it is advisable that you verify the control that you are working by reading the image of nearby elements such as labels. Now, this search can be very slow. It can hit your performance. For example, if you have a form that has 10 fields in it and we are going to search for labels to confirm the positioning of the fields then this can increase the form completion time by as much as 300 percent now it's not that the changes in the application that we are automating 
are going to happen too soon or without the blue prism being alerted by the internal change control then it comes to the question like how justified it would be to do such an overhead the trade-off between quality and performance needs to be assessed on a process by process screen by screen basis now that if we have to inevitably search for images then there are some methods that we can use to speed up the search for example in this image if we have to find the top information icon we can use the image manipulation utility to search for a sub image within the entire screen and the sub image that we will choose would be this this is going to take approximately six seconds because the way blue prism searches for an image is it searches from the top left to the bottom right of the screen making vertical sweeps each sweep being equal to the width of the sum image the next vertical sweep it does by searching the vertical portion of the screen one pixel to the right of the original search vertical sweep so the techniques that we can use is that we can minimize the background color in the search image for example we can take that image that we are searching for by cropping the top and left portion of it now this can reduce the image search time to approximately two seconds another way would be to reduce the search area instead of searching the entire screen we can take the region which contains exactly the type column now searching for the original uncropped image may take up to 0.2 seconds from the original six seconds now we know that by cropping the image or by reducing the search area we can increase the performance what if we combine both that will be the best that we can get when using image search so here in this image we can reduce the search time by reading only one pixel wide image so here we are effectively searching down the red line and checking the color of each pixel until a blue one is found the image will be found instantly this completes the training on blue prism hope you found it useful thanks for attending this training